Okay, last month I brought you the Thanksgiving moose eating the pumpkins in our front yard. Now we have the Christmas moose hanging out in our backyard. Merry Christmas! Hi there and happy December. Happy holidays. It's a very festive time of year. We've got Christmas and Hanukkah and Rue and Solstice and Kwanzaa and New Year's and of course my husband's birthday. So I hope you're enjoying yourself. In this month's video, I have a really easy, quick craft that you can do to decorate your outside. Some nice little Christmas ice balls. I also give you some tips on how to keep snow from sticking to your shovel. And you'll see me in our sub-zero, minus 10 degree temperature. They say the camera adds 5 pounds. The warm clothes add about 50, so you'll see me all bundled up. First, I want to give a shout out. Happy birthday to all my December birthdays. Matt, Brandy, Scott. Greg, Mac, Rita, Sean, Greg, Jason, Chris, Carrie, Wyatt, David, Christy, Mike, Mark, and Kathy. A lot of you at December birthdays. Also, a happy home purchase anniversary to Orlando and Heather. And happy birthday to my dear husband, Dave. We have not had a whole lot of snow this year yet, but it is winter in Alaska, so we're expecting to see some more snow. One of the issues people have is the snow sticking to their shovel. A good way to keep this from happening is to keep your shovel outside so it stays cold. If you have it inside and it's warm, the snow will tend to stick. The other thing, if you're having an issue with snow sticking, is you can just spray your shovel with some nonstick cooking spray and you should be good to go. So one thing that I saw on Facebook that looked like an interesting Christmas decoration idea is to take balloons, fill them with some food coloring, and then fill them with water. I'm going to take these balloons outside and we're going to let them freeze overnight and then take the balloon off and hopefully we'll have brightly colored Christmas ornaments that we can put along the driveway. So as you can see we've taken the balloons off of a couple of these. The nice thing is the balloons kind of split themselves. I don't even really need the scissors. So you just peel the balloon right off and you have these really pretty colored balls that you can put in the driveway. They didn't turn out very round, so I think next time we'll try and prop them up in the snow. We put them on the uh, porch and they looked a little bit flat, but I think these are still really pretty for decorating for this season. Okay, so this is the second batch of balloons. These we have nestled in the snow and they appear to be keeping a more rounded appearance. So hopefully these ones will be a little bit more round. It's very cold out. Our ice balls are frozen solid. I am too, even though I'm in a bunch of layers. But I think putting this batch in the snow help make them a little bit nicer shape. They're a little more of a rounded teardrop shape. So now we have some more nice ice balls to decorate the driveway. Mom, you have to like this part. Oh yeah, that one looks really nice. 